Hello, welcome back. Um, all right, so we're starting page 88, Radicals in the Real World. So I will be using a couple highlighters today. If you want to grab some highlighters or markers, eh, just fun. I went ahead and numbered and titled the next two pages. This is the document that I uploaded today. Cut it in half, page 88, page 89. I'm going to go ahead and put 89 in my pocket page just so I don't lose it. And radicals are still actually a part of quadratics, believe it or not. For some reason, they just lump them together in our book. So we will make a new pocket page soon after we're done with radicals. Okay, back to page 88. Radicals in the real world. So oftentimes when you see a word problem and it's dealing with radicals, um, they're going to be talking about a square. So like a square garden or maybe a, a baseball field diamond is like a square. And they'll ask how far is it from home plate to second base or yeah, those words are right, right? So just wanted to share this. Math fun fact, the diagonal of a square is the side length times radical two. So radical two is the square root we're gonna be working with today. And it is often used in radical word problems. So I gave you squares on each of these problems just to have a nice visual. I'm going to make the side length yellow. Ugh, I hate how it bleeds. This printer is just too juicy or something. I don't know what's happening. So let's say this is our side length. We can say X or any number you want to say. And the diagonal is when you go from one corner to the opposite corner. So we're going to go from here to here. That diagonal is what we're talking about today. So that would be the side length x times radical 2, square root of 2. Radical 2, square root 2, those mean the same thing. So the diagonal equals x, the side length, with a radical 2, times radical 2 at the end. <clears throat> so the format here is the odds are very similar to the evens. I will do the odds that will help you complete the evens. So apply this property, diagonal equals the side times radical 2, so the following scenarios, leave your answers in radical form. We don't want any decimals. Leave it as a radical. All right, number one, what is the length of the diagonal in this square? So they want us to find the length of the diagonal given that the side length is six. Any guesses? Side length is six, so what would the diagonal be? Yeah, just multiply by radical two. So whatever the side is, we multiply it by radical two. And that's the answer. Six radical two. All right, so number two is very similar to that. They want you to figure out the length of the diagonal where the side length is nine. Number three, what is the side length of the square that has a diagonal of 10 radical two? So now they've told us the pink line is 10 
radical 2. And they want us to figure out the side length. Any guesses what we should do? Yeah, all you really have to do is just take off that radical 2. The diagonal is the side times radical 2. If you want to use the formula, we said diagonal equals side times radical 2. We know the diagonal is 10 radical 2. And that would be equal to the side times radical 2. We want to solve for the side. We need to divide off the radical 2 on both sides. And that leaves us with 10. I personally feel like the formula overcomplicates it. If you just think about the diagonal is the side times radical 2, then you see right here, the side is going to be 10. And that's what we have left over. The side is 10 inches. So when they gave us a diagonal, we just had to take the radical 2 off to go to the side length. Whereas on number 1, they gave us the side length, and we had to put the radical 2 on to get the diagonal. Put it on, take it off, depending on what they give you. Okay, so that's practicing just the property. Let's think about it in like a real world scenario. So let's say Crystal is building a square garden box. She wants her garden to have a side length of 12 feet. Okay, so the side length is 12. Crystal plans on paving a walking path along the diagonal of her garden. How long will her walking path be? So she wants a walking path to go that way along the diagonal. And she wants the side length to be 12. So how can we figure out the length of her walking path? If it's the diagonal. Yeah, just multiply the radical too. So we're going to take this 12 and multiply by radical 2. So Crystal's walking path will be 12 radical 2 feet long. All right, so the, that was the odds. Go ahead and try to figure out the evens. I'm posting this Thursday. If you turn it in by Friday at midnight, I'll give you extra credit. And I like to give you guys two business days to complete your work. So not including the weekend, we're going to turn this in on Monday at, by four for a 100%. Monday at 4, I'll post the answers. Anything turned in after the answers are posted is a 75%. So I'm just trying to be understanding and know that we all have different circumstances and situations that we're in um, and give you guys a couple of days to get these three problems done because I know these are weird times. Um, some of your families are depending on you right now because you might be the one that has a job still and a lot of people have lost their jobs. It's just it's a crazy time we're living in. So feel free to reach out to me if um, you're not able to do it by Monday at 4. Just let me know what you're going through and we can talk about it. Other than that, hope this was straightforward. Hope you can figure out the evens. I will host a Zoom on Monday. So if any questions you have before 4 p.m. And... I will see you then. All right. Bye.